White Sox looking to stay hot and win a fourth in a row going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Tanks winless since July 2nd, 0-5 and 8 starts since. First inning, Irvin Santana pitching for KC, and Gordon Beckham clocks him. That ball's high and deep. Stretch, stretch. Gordon back at the fence, looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes! High towering drive, and the Sox jump off to a quick 1-0 lead. Number four on the season for Beckham. In the top of the second inning, Connor Gillespie at the plate and passed ball Salvador Perez. Paul Canerco will come on in after a little hesitation as the ball gets stuck in the backstop. Check this out. Off the glove of Perez and scoots behind the advertisement there. Tough break. Santana gives up two runs, one earned in six innings. Bottom two, John Tanks pitching. Gets Justin Maxwell, two banners later. I'll see this Escobar, a spectator. In the third inning, Jamie Carroll hits the ball to center on the hit and run, and that's an easy double play as Alejandro Diaz makes the catch in center and flips it over to first. Then in the bottom of the sixth inning, a man on at first two down. Salvador Perez grounds into the force out. In the eighth inning, Alexei Ramirez makes the nice play on Eric Hosmer. Danks goes eight scoreless innings, he only struck out two. He was helped out by 12 ground outs. Ninth inning, potential tying run at the plate and Justin Maxwell facing Addison Reed. He gone, slow low, and this ball game is over. So Johnny Danks, Addison Reed combined to shut out Kansas City. It's over. Reed with his 32nd save, third win for Danks and his first since July 2nd. He loves to face the Royals. Tanks is now 6-0 lifetime against KC. The White Sox tie a season high with their fourth straight win, and they send the Royals to their third defeat in a row.